talk about the transition and actually to add kind of an asterisk to that, we call it the safe transition. Uh, and that'll make a little bit more sense in a bit here when I explain why. When we say transition, we're talking about going from one weapon system to another weapon system. Why, why would you do that? What's an example of when that would happen? One breaks down. One breaks down. One breaks down. Different range. Different range. Are your hands a weapon system? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So this could be going from one weapon system being the gun to empty hands if necessary. Okay. Uh, but we also have to be aware of the distance that we do it at. We did the reloads a little bit further back because it's just foolish to be reloading the rifle up here at one meter away from the target. Uh, and it would be foolish to be transitioning to a handgun at 75 meters away from the target. So there's a magical line in there that exists for each one of us. Something that occurs on the range, we see this happen a lot of times, is when guys will perform these transitions, they simulate. So they say, I want you to come up on target, I want you to simulate the gun went empty or a malfunction, and then transition to the handgun. What well, simulate is another word for what? Pretend. Pretend make believe so we're gonna make believe train which is ridiculous so what we like to do is is we actually want to have you uh, encounter a stimulus you actually get a, a, a basically something materializes on the gun that tells you it's time to transition so the way that we do that is we're gonna take the rifle when it's at a full load and we'll remove the magazine so right now I have a rifle that has one round in the chamber but no magazine inserted so when I come up and fire this the gun will go off but it will not lock to the rear. When I pull the trigger again, I'm gonna get a click. I actually get a real living, breathing malfunction, which is telling me you need to go to your secondary weapon. Everybody get that? Another added byproduct to that that's a benefit is on those transitions where guys are pretending, they're simulating, what do you think typically happens? They're here, they come up on target, they engage with those two rounds, they simulate a malfunction, and what do you think they do to the selector? They leave it on fire. So they leave it on fire and then they transition to their handgun and now there's a hot rifle that is on fire with a round in the chamber and a magazine inserted that's either in their hand or hanging on a sling and dangling. Do you guys think that's dangerous? Yeah. Yes. So it's a double whammy. If we take out that magazine and we perform the transition, the safe transition the way we're talking about, you not only get the stimulus, but you actually have a dead gun. You have a gun that is not only unloaded, but it's completely inoperable. So it's, it's a big plus, it's a big benefit. Everybody with me so far? Yeah. All right, next. We've got to clear this gun off of our shooting uh, sort of uh, window of combat in front of us as smoothly and efficiently as we can. In the old days, when guys ran uh, MP5 submachine guns and whatnot, you'd see that when that gun took and it went empty or it incurred a malfunction, they would just drop it. The gun was carried on a tactical sling, you just released it. There's a problem there though. The gun can swing back, it can hit you between the legs, it can come back and follow up your draw stroke, it can get tangled in a number of ways. So we don't like that. The next question is what's faster, you or gravity? And out of the starting blocks, you're actually faster than gravity. So this is gravity right here. You can see how fast gravity is. And then this is me, I am that fast. So I can actually move the gun faster than gravity can. I'm going to move my support hand down to the front pocket on my support side simultaneously as I am moving for the handgun, just like so. Handgun comes up online. If I'm carrying a tactical sling like a couple of you guys are right there, you've actually got one, you can, once you've hit this position here, you can take and release that long gun and then mount both hands on the handgun and shoot. If you are not running a sling, you can keep one hand on the long gun. If you are far enough away that you got to have two hands on the, uh, the handgun, what can you do with this? Set it, down. Set it down. I didn't say throw it in the dirt like a javelin and embed it in the ground, okay? But you can drop it. You guys saw me earlier when You're I had gun. a problem with that. What did I do? I'm not going to stand there and I'm not going to stand there and lose the fight trying to reload my gun with one hand and not knowing what to do with my equipment. I'm going to drop it and solve the problem. Everybody understand? Any questions? So I'll demonstrate this very painstakingly slow and then I'll do it at, uh, I'll do it at fight speed, show you guys what it looks like. So again, I've got one round in the chamber, no magazine inserted in the weapon. If you guys listen, you'll hear the audible click on the long gun. So the first thing that happens is I mount the long gun, come up, I fire one round successfully. I press the trigger again and I get a click. Both hands moving simultaneously, pocket to pocket, the secondary weapon comes in, 
us like so, and the transition's complete. Come back, reholster at that point. And we can always tell if you actually did the drill correctly, meaning that you pressed the trigger a second time, because the M4 system will not go on safe if the hammer has fallen. So this gun won't even go on safe. In order to get it on safe, what do I have to do? Got a racket, now I can put it on safe. To set back up for the drill, we reinsert the fresh magazine, bring it back to a full load, and we're ready to go. Fight speed looks like this. Sean? Again, the weapon won't go on safe. Run the charging handle, now it's on safe, and I can set it back up again. Everybody with me? Let's say you're one of those crazy cross-eye dominant people who runs their handgun on one side, but they run the long gun on the other side. What changes? Nothing. I'm just gonna keep this hand on the pistol grip and drive it down towards my hip pocket. So it's dead. Now I'm here, like so. Come up. Any questions, guys? Nothing. All right, outstanding. Let's go ahead and get everybody online right here.